हेलो एवरी वन सो स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर सेफ एंड साउंड आई होप यू ऑल रिमेंबर आवर प्रीवियस लेसन इन विच वी लर्न अबाउट इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ वाटर इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ वाटर फॉर ह्यूमन बींग्स सो माई क्वेश्चन टू यू इज डू यू रियली थिंक दैट वाटर इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर ह्यूमन ओनली Do you think that water can be important for someone else also? So my dear students, answer to this question is yes. Yes, yes. It is important for other organisms too. And this is what we are going to learn in our next chapter that is plants and animals and water. Okay? So before starting with this we'll learn about habitat students habitat is the place where a particular type of animal or plant is usually found all the organisms are categorized according to their habitat so students when a plant or an animal is found in water it is said that their habitat is water they are known as aquatic plants and animals when plants and animals live on water they are considered as aquatic organisms okay bachcho is that clear to you when we talk about aquatic plants and animals both then we call it that they are living in aquatic environment like whale turtle water hyacinth lotus and corals etc organisms like tree fern elephant camel and humans live on land they are called terrestrial organisms you can see the examples tree lion tiger etc they all live in on land that is why we call them terrestrial terrestrial organisms is that clear to you terrestrial apne class 4th mein bhi padha hua hai right all the plants tiger lion they all belongs to terrestrial when animals live on trees or its branches they are considered as arboreal organisms okay 